was proud of my group. We really executed. We got just enough stops and um, had a lot of guys play well. Yeah, we've had a lot of good wins. Um, but, yeah, I think this is the best team that we've beaten. Um, I don't know. It's the best. Yeah, it was a great win. We had a lot to overcome. Uh, you know, even when the shot hit the rim and kind of stuck and rolled in on the three for Springs, who's a phenomenal player. Um, uh, yeah, it was just things like that. So, yeah, it's, it's very gratifying. It was a pretty happy locker room. Yeah. Today with Justin and Kevin did. Yeah. Does that kind of blow you away? Well, Justin to make that many threes because he hasn't been shooting the ball well. Um, but I told him at the first time out, and I don't know if he's coming in here, you guys are going to ask him. I said, Justin, I think you're going to get 30 today. I just feel it. That was the first time out I told him that he had 28 because uh, he had hit a couple, I think, before the first time out or one. And it just looked good. And, um, and it opened up the drive game for him and really got his confidence going. So, um, it was great to see Kevin Herter just made unbelievably tough shots. And I thought he really defended because that coffee kid is terrific. One, uh, one great player. And I thought Kevin did a nice job just trying to contain him and keep him in front, which is hard to do. Um, so, yeah, the freshmen just keep doing it. Cowan, the job he did on Mason. Uh, Mason Nate Mason one of the best guards in the league. Um, almost impossible to keep him in front. And I thought Anthony did a pretty good job of just trying to keep him in front and make him shoot some tough shots. Yeah. How about that? No turnovers. Did the shooting open up his game, or did he open up the shooting? Both. He, he, you game plan for him, right? And about the seven-minute timeout, I said, all right, we're gonna go through Mello. We just Mello's got to, he's got to have it in his hands. We gotta go through Mello, and he was just making all the right decisions. He, he felt good. He, I've been saying all year, he trusts this group. He really trusts his team, and um, I didn't realize he had. You know, zero turnovers. But the key of the game is we only had seven. That's that's the key of the game. And uh, we've just been throwing it to the other team a lot lately. And if we would have, you know, seven gave us a chance. So, but I think I think you got a game plan for him. I think I think the shooting opened things up for our role guy to get layups. And then Melamitz made the right decisions. If they helped on the big. He skipped it. If they didn't, it's hard to do. And. Uh, All right, uh, really proud of the team. Uh, we gutted it up today. We, we, we beat a really, really good team, a really good team. They just come up a little short. I think they're an NCAA tournament team. Um, schedule gets a little bit easier for them um, moving forward, a little more, few more home games. And we had to play as, as well as we could play to win. And I thought the second half was as good as we've played in a long time. So. Um, just proud of my group. We really executed. We got just enough stops and um, had a lot of guys play well. We'll open up for questions. Uh, Don. Mark, Mark, given everything that the team had to overcome, the deficit, the, the crowd, the fouls, and everything, would you say that this is the most satisfying win? And the team is playing satisfying win. Yeah, we've had a lot of good wins. Um, but yeah, I think this is the best team that we've beaten. Um, I don't know. It's the best. Yeah, it was a great win. We had a lot to overcome. Uh, you know, even when the shot hit the rim and kind of stuck and rolled in on the three for Springs, who's a phenomenal player. Um, uh, yeah, it was just things like that. So, yeah, it's it's very gratifying. It was a pretty happy locker room. Yeah, Mark, I know you say a lot that you're not surprised by what your freshmen do, but yeah. today with Justin and Kevin did, yeah. um, does that kind of blow you away? Well, Justin to make that many threes because he hasn't been shooting the ball well. Um, but I told him at the first time out, and I don't know if he's coming in here, you guys are going to ask him. I said, Justin, I think you're going to get 30 today. I just feel it. That was the first time out. I told him that he had 28 because uh, he had hit a couple, I think, before the first time out or one. And it just looked good. And, um, and it opened up the drive game for him and really got his confidence going. So um, it was great to see Kevin Herter just made unbelievably tough shots. And I thought he really defended because that coffee kid is terrific, 
one great player. And I thought Kevin did a nice job just trying to contain him and keep him in front, which is hard to do. Um, so, yeah, the freshmen just keep doing it. Cowan, the job he did on Mason, uh, Mason Nate Mason, one of the best guards in the league. Um, almost impossible to keep him in front. And I thought Anthony did a pretty good job of just trying to keep him in front and make him shoot some tough shots. Given, given uh, what Mel did today in terms of, yeah. I mean, How about no, that? no turnovers, uh, did, did, the, did the shooting open up his game or did he open up the shooters? Both. He's a, he, you game plan for him, right? And about the seven minute timeout, I said, all right, we're going to go through Mello. We just, Mello's got to, he's got to have it in his hands. We got to go through Mello. And he was just making all the right decisions. He, he felt good. He, I've been saying all year he trusts this group, he really trusts his team. And um, I didn't realize it, you know, zero turnovers. But the key of the game is we only had seven. That's that's the key of the game. And uh, we've just been throwing it to the other team a lot lately. And if we would have, you know, seven gave us a chance. So, but I think I think you got a game plan for them. I think I think the shooting opened things up for our role guy to get layups. And the Melamites made the right decisions. They helped on the big. He skipped it if they didn't. It's hard to do, and uh, and you know, especially on the road, he just made great decisions. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how we do it. Sometimes um, today we just we were really determined. Um, we we felt like we were playing well, but we couldn't get the lead, and we'd hit a shot, then it hit a shot, and it just we were just really determined uh, to win this game. Um, we don't call them freshmen. We call them young guys. Um, they're good players. Um, we, you know, they don't they don't think about the stage. They're just playing basketball. They've done it their whole life. So um, we rested them going into this game. I did something I've never done. We played Tuesday. Anthony wasn't great. Justin wasn't great. We gave him two days off. We didn't go Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, second team practiced a little bit more. Um, and I haven't done that in my career. Um, it was such a big game. This was a huge game for us. And I thought they were fresh because we did that. Coach, at, at halftime, how did you adjust on Crawford? He didn't score in the second half. Really well, he made some tough shots in that first half, my gosh. And um, it just felt like a couple of them were like off loose balls and different things. And you shot them, you knew they were going in. He's just he's a great player. And so we talked about halftime. Hey, he's shooting the ball better in the league. He's three for four in the first half. We got to get up on him, and uh, we were much more aware of him. We were aware of him going into the game, but I just thought he was terrific the first half. Last two questions, Don, and then Roman. Don, Mark, do you, guys, do you feel like you guys are still trying to get respect, I guess, nationally or even in the Big Ten? And did today help that with any of that? Oh, I don't know. Um, we're just trying to win the next game. That's really what we're doing. Um, I'm. I've been around a lot of teams. It's my 19th year as a head coach. Um, and this team just stays so focused on the task at hand. And uh, they're hard to guard. And we, I thought we were dialed in defensively, but we just, they're so. Get home tonight, get rested, and game plan again, and get our guys fresh mentally and physically uh, for the game on Tuesday. Time last question, please. Mark, when you go over the battle on the 12, a 12, 12 I think, to go, like that, do you change what you have to defensively? Do you say, you just let them just beat us? If they, if they hit shots, they hit shots, but we just can't give them three points. Yeah, we were making some mistakes, and we were fouling. We, just, we had to play smarter, and I thought we played smarter. I thought, I thought we got much better in our ball screen defense and our individual defense uh, during that stretch. And, uh, you know, every time out, I was telling them, the second, we've got to quit fouling, guys. We've got to quit fouling. And we didn't really slow down that much, but we were a little bit better the last 12 minutes. Thank you, Coach. Maryland student athletes will be uh, 